Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure brings me, well, I could say a vacation quote, first one's here, first one's here. But in fact, I am the only one here at Holy Land, a theme park attraction just off Interstate 4 in Orlando, which I had assumed would be back open, but it is not. I was incorrect. So my plans are going to change throughout the course of the days. As of the day, as of the recording of this, it is Saturday, April 3rd. So this will be uploaded on Easter Sunday. Now I checked out their website. It said that they are not open on Sunday. So my game plan was to record today. And then on that day when they're not open, it, I would have an Easter Sunday video. However, Holy Land is no more. There is an eagle flying above some of the attractions in here. I do not believe this is a confirmation. Well, I do believe, I mean, it is a confirmation. I do not believe that they will be reopening. Dang. I have some other ideas. I went out here one time many years ago. Ah, look at this. Pretty cool. There's guest services over here. It is all shut off. Dang. All right, no matter what happens, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Here's the signage. Right there. Now the interstate is just over that little bunker there. And this gate is open. There is a piece of signage here that I will not go past. So we'll walk up to where the sign states about the private property. We're not gonna go go past that. This is definitely not a beehive of activity. You can faintly see, well maybe not even faintly, you can clearly see there are a congregation of birds up there circling around. Quite a few. So consider this an update before the rest of the episode takes, takes flight. Woo, Hitchcock would be proud. Now, whether or not this will ever reopen, I would like to get legitimate access to wander around through here. I don't know if that, I don't, honestly, I don't know if that will ever be granted. However, oh, keeping up with you know, the Easter weekend theme, there is the stone that was rolled, look at that. There is the stone that was rolled away. Wow, okay, I'm gonna zoom in on this. Now that worked out well. That's the reason for Easter. As the Bible story goes, if you're into that sort of thing, pretty neat. Doesn't look to be too kept up. They had announced at the beginning of last year that they were going to get rid of all the live entertainment here, but they were going to stay open. Of course, you know, 2020 last year threw everyone for a, threw a curveball. And that could have been one of the reasons for, for its demise. 
a lot of buildings out here. The main gate over here is closed, but across the street is a convenience store and a pathway that I walked in right over there. Since this did not work out, I have been invited by a friend to go on an Easter egg trek of sorts. Just have to go meet up at Disney Springs and see what happens. Dang, I was hoping they'd be open today, but, but they're not. Moving on. One last look here from, from a distance. I'm kind of getting that Bette Midler song. It, from, from a distance from across the parking lot, not the, not the intentions of that song. But I guess it kind of correlates. Made it into the Lime Garage. Usually I will park the Orange Garage. Choosing Lime, going up to the third floor. Ooh, kind of bumpy. Third floor has 234 accessible spots according to that sign. All right, Danny702, explain to me what I'm now gonna be doing. Okay, so we're going on an Easter egg hunt. Okay. A, a Disney Easter egg hunt, because there are four resorts around property that are having like Easter egg displays, but I don't know exactly where they are, so we're really going for an Easter egg so hunt. So we're just kind of playing it by ear. Yeah. We're playing it by a bunny ear. By bunny ear, yeah. uh, we're, we're gonna go park, or no, resort hopping. Hopping. Waiting in line now to go through the checkpoint. Mickey is following the prop, proper procedures here. Got to do this first before getting into Springs. From over on this side of Springs, you can see the Amphicar over there. The balloon is not quite up in the air. And going over to going over to Saratoga Springs. Okay, here's the directory. Saratoga Springs. Does it have a you are okay right here? You are here. So if we continue walking, do you see the main office on there? Or you see the... I think it's this. You think it's the carriage house check-in? Yeah. Which so would be... Across the bridge. Okay. I had no idea they had something called horsing around rentals. Now you do not rent a horse, but the next best thing... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to etch this on my to-do plans for a future endeavor. Look at this. This is good. I'm, it's it's going to happen. This is called a this is a two seat Surrey, and it states so right there. Those are the rental prices. Yeah, like a polo club theme. Also, I think this is specifically a DVC resort. I don't think I don't think regular guests can stay here. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm incorrect on that, but we're just looking for the Easter egg now. And there they are, right there. They were created by cast members. There were supposed to be four here, but I'm only seeing three decorated eggs. And over here are something called baskets full of magic. And you can see these little these little Easter baskets that are all across here. Oh, I see Dumbo down in there. I see Wazowski. I see uh, I see Pluto. I see Mickey and Minnie. And then over here for $8.95, they have some chocolate covered bunny. Uh oh, okay, there we go. Nice, there's a little piece of slice of cake here. Okay, that looks good, and there's some little cupcakes. And yeah, yeah, for $5.99, it's a lemon sponge cake. Successfully procured a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Now I'm not gonna get on this bus, but there is a bus transportation depot here. We're gonna take a bus over to Hollywood Studios, right? Yes. Now we're not going in the theme park. No. We're gonna take the Skyliner yes. from Studios. Yes. To basically Epcot. Okay. And then we're going to the resorts around Epcot. Oh, nice. <laughs> so this is for the Treehouse Villas. We got to wait for the one for Hollywood Studios. Oh, dang, it showed up a little bit early. It only took a few minutes to web wait time. It says, hello, Hollywood. Pulling into Hollywood Studios. On the Skyliner now. Going across, very windy. We have added another person, Tampa J. It's no, here. I'm here. It's not the Easter Buddy. It's me. And we have to disembark and get on another Skyliner. Heading in now over to Epcot. We're not going into Epcot, but we're heading towards Epcot, which Epcot today stands for eggs potentially can obviously tarnish. Good? Yeah, I like that. Good. That's a good Easter joke. It's a good one, right? That's a really good Easter joke. I just thought that off the top of my head. It's just popped in there. I like it. see Spaceship Earth over there and Guardians. We're going to the boardwalk though, right? Yes. This is going to drop us off. Oh, I even see way over there, you can see the contemporary. Wow. Get a good view from up here. It is very, very gusty. 
we are swaying <laughs> so much right now. Ooh. And the wind up there too. Very windy. Getting a bird's eye of Ratatouille as well. Slated to open on October 1st, Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. I'm not sure if a boat will be in order for any of the transportation for the day, but the friendship boats are always a good time to get around. Oh, hello there, bird. Kind of resembles a stork, small stork. And there's a pirate ship over there, pirate ship swimming pool, uh, water slide. Now heading into the lobby, you see over here they're, they're doing a little construction. It says, please pardon our appearance. This area is being refurbished for future enjoyment. And we have entered the Beach Club Resort. It's very echoey in here. So as soon as I walked in, I realized, wow, there's quite a bit of an echo. Hello. Oh, there is a Dumbo egg right here. And I'm seeing the two, like the little serpents there. Urs oh, there's Ursula around the back. So that would be a little mermaid egg and a fox and the hound egg you guys know who did the voices of fox and the hound trivia question no. do you guys know one was corey feldman and the other one was the kid from adventures in babysitting no way fox I, and the hound. I, I can hear it in my head now yep now walking into the yacht club look at that there's a yacht right there on the on the map this one's very hidden what's the name of this restaurant yacht and compass. the yacht and compass no compass and ale the compass and ale the Ale and Compass. It's right here along the little little bar section. Wow, I have never been in here before. Here is a spotlight of sorts, and there's a miniature ship over there in that case. Yeah, I've never been inside this lobby before. Every time I see one of these, I think of Inspector Clouseau from one of the Pink Panther films where he kind of like, I wonder if this actually, does it actually turn? Oh yeah, it does. Where he does this, and then he sticks his hand and then falls off. Remember the Pink Panther movie where Clouseau yes. utilized this? I always think of Jeff Spicoli, too. Oh, Spicoli. See the globe right there. World history, man. I see the globe right there. And behind this, these little stanchions here are, are the eggs. Oh, I'm seeing... Oh, that's an Aladdin. Is that called the Cave of Wonders right there? And then the teacups over there in the corner. Oh, this is nice. This says Neverland on it. This is a Peter Pan-themed half of an egg. The top portion of the egg has been removed. And Tinkerbell is giving off a little Tinkerbell magic up there. Got some bonbons in there. Easter Oreo bonbons. And these are not labeled, but they definitely look like some sort of dessert eggs. Yeah, chocolate maybe eggs. chocolate eggs, yeah. Now walking down this platform, we could call technically you could call this wooden little section the boardwalk. Going over to Another section of the boardwalk where there will be more eggs. And here in this lobby as well are quite a few for the holiday, including this right here. This tree is almost made out of the, the vines and the stuff that hang, that kind of dangles from a lot of the trees in Central Florida. The moss. There goes the luggage mobile. Oh, it's making a, it's doing a little, little turn there. And here comes a bus. This has cruise line on it, though. Oh, yeah, you go right to the Just cruising through. The cruise line's not even not even happening right now. Now this one's heading back to one division bus. It's heading back to Springs. This says, "Oh, here we go." The front of this says "Royal Greetings," and then it says "Magic Kingdom." So this is the bus. Gonna hop on board. Head over to MK. In route now. There's the Skyliner up above, and the gate is opening to head over to our next destination on the bus. Passing by the gargantuan hidden Mickey made out of solar panels. Yeah, check it out. There it is. Hidden Mickey. There's two sections of the solar panels. It's the first section right there that makes up the solar panel Mickey. Pulling into the bus station. Oh, there's a there's a double bus. That one was connected, almost like a love bug. Oh, take a look at that, the monorail going by. We're gonna go take a boat from here over to Grand Floridian. And yet another one. Pulling out of the station there. I am now on the boat 
Gonna loop around and head that direction. Went away from the dock now. And now turning, making a turn. GF right down here for Grand Floridian on the mats. Oh, and Merc in Mickey Mercantile are these footprints which I believe belong to the Easter Bunny. And here are some more baskets right along here. More baskets full of magic right here on display. Ooh, there's some little chocolate coins. Notice this egg here. It looks as if that is, yeah, that's Humpty Dumpty. It's an egg painted on an egg. Looking at placing a mobile order for Gasparilla Island Grill, there are quite a few holiday items, including a bunny box, the grand egg, a miniature bunny cake, an Easter egg cupcake, and a carrot. And this is what we're dealing with. This is very decorative looking. That is so pretty. This is, a, this is beautiful. Yes. And I'm not just talking about the coffee, the hot coffee that I got to go along with this very decorative bunny here. Let me do the unveiling and see if, uh, oh yeah, look at that. It's got the ears, it's got the nose, it's got the little eyebrows, it has the, it has the whipped cream on top. We all got three different things. Yes, we did. So we'll be able to showcase three of the menu options. <laughs> What'd you get, Jay? Marshmallow bunny tail pops. A marshmallow bunny a marshmallow tail. Pop. So you got the tail, I got the head uh. of the bunny. And what'd you get, Dana? Oh, I got the rear end of the bunny. We almost oh, have a complete bunny. A complete torso. <laughs> oh, I'm having a hard time picking up this delicacy. That's good right there. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good photo op almost. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about this bunny. My apologies. You're gonna, that's a lot of food on one plate, I'm just noticing. <laughs> this is a lot of sugar. And vitamins, oh, it's, it is a cake, it's a full cake. Ooh. That is pretty wild looking. That looks like a bunch of blades of grass. Yeah. It's like you're eating soil. <laughs> so I'm not eating, <laughs> I'm not eating uh, like dessert, I'm eating grass. Yeah. There's an eagle perched atop this egg with uh, the flag around it. That is, yeah, like you were saying, Jay, this is very, very patriotic. And you can see my reflection in here. You can see how large the egg is compared to the rest of, the, how tall I am. It's a, that's a big egg. We're getting a crossing there. One on the other beam and another one on this beam. Walking back around to, towards Magic Kingdom along this pathway. You know, since we were so close, there is, yo, Br'er Rabbit on Splash Mountain. Rabbit, Easter, bunny, on the lookout for a rabbit. I know it's a little bit of a stretch because Br'er Rabbit has nothing to do with Easter, but it's still a rabbit. And also, there is a rabbit on the front of this log. That's gonna do it for today. I would say a very successful Easter Eve and ending it with a lot of Br'er Rabbit and other rabbits throughout the course of Splash Mountain and then the crescendo at the very top of this peak. Bray Rabbit is in trouble. Oh no, I think I'm in trouble. The vlog is over. Drop it. Love, what's happening?
My camera's still wet, but I wanted to get this last angle of the monorail. Should have wiped the lens off after splash, but I did it.